wanted to come and say hi to you and make sure you get my car here for the election. State Rep Josh Zepnick has campaigned for re-election many times before, but never quite like this time. This is a very different race for you, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Um, and, you know, there's nothing I can do about the past right now. Josh, uh, I mean, you need to put your hands behind your back. This is the past Zepnick is referring to, his 2015 arrest for first offense drunk driving, an event, he says, saved his life. Instead of, you know, me choosing to have a drink, the drink was choosing me. It was taking over my day-to-day -day life. I'm not going to make excuses. I made choices. I made bad choices, you know, to drink uh, every day, to drink way too much. It was a tough wake-up call for Zepnik, who has publicly talked about his sister who was killed by a drunk driver and who has fought for tougher drunk driving laws in the assembly. Something in spite of his arrest, he says he hopes to do again. Yeah, it is something I'm going to continue to pursue, and I'm probably going to do it with even more vigor. In his talks with voters, he doesn't shy away from that piece of his past. I have had conversations with constituents about it. And he chokes up when he thinks about the responses he's gotten. People have been very forgiving. And I appreciate that. Sepnik says that he is a changed person. He notes that today marks nine months of sobriety for him. But it also marks 12 days until that August 9th primary. And tomorrow we will hear from his Democratic challenger in that race, Milwaukee attorney Marisa Bell Cabrera. Reporting live on Milwaukee's South Side, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.